Hi, I'm Bruce and almost a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week I wanted to start the yurt build, but after fitting some lights in my workshop, Annie had to go. So it was just me and the kids, which meant work was postponed. I love it really, with a chance to just have fun with the girls, as we try our hand at hurling with very mixed results. Ah. <laughs> if you're new here, it would be pretty great if you could subscribe and become part of our ever-growing community. Right, my workshop is pretty awesome now with doors on it, but it's very dark in here and I haven't got any windows just yet. So I do have some LED baton lighting and me and Betsy are going to fit that now. Unfortunately, my workshop is not sheet proof, so I have to come up with some way of keeping her out. I thought my days of child gates was over. So this is going to be like a temporary setup because um, I'm actually going to clad the inside of this I reckon with like pallet wood and stuff like that once I've got all my windows laid out. So I'm going to get all of my cables up and I'm going to kind of have them a bit too long so I can move everything back into the position that I want it to later on. And for a power source, so if you remember when I reviewed that um, lithium battery power station, portable power station, the EcoFlow. I'm going to use that as my battery to power the lighting in here. Well, that's pretty good. That's just one of the lights up. I've got another nine to put up, but uh, Betsy's feeling a bit hungry and it's just me and her by ourselves at the moment. So I'm going to go and put some dinner on. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so I'm back in the workshop. I actually did a bit more of the lighting yesterday with a friend of mine, Keith. Uh, thanks Keith. I always try and give myself like Saturday off from thinking about filming anything just to give myself a bit of headspace. I've actually moved the lights over a little bit so I fitted three out of the ten so now I'm back on I'm gonna fit the rest of them and the ones here just uh, keeping watch making sure that I abide by the health and safety rules. <laughs> Let there be light. That's looking great. I've actually only fitted eight of those and uh, I think I'm going to save the last two because at some point I'm going to be putting shelving, racking, all that kind of thing. But yeah, pretty impressed with that. It's all plugged into my battery pack over here, look. So now all I need to do is get myself uh, 
350 watt solar panel and see how I get on with that. Anyway, I've been called in for dinner and I think I just had some friends turn up, so let it go in. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> okay, something very unusual is happening for us for the rest of this week. Annie is going away. <gasps> how will I cope? I don't know. But, uh, so that's not going to be any more work really for me. I'm just going to be focusing on being fun dad. Fun dad! Fun dad! <laughs> Will you miss me? Will you miss me? <laughs> yes. Great. <laughs> Will you miss me? I will! That's what do you think of having just dad around? Oh. She doesn't want to hurt my feelings, I, I think. I sad and happy. Ah. Oh. Right. Annie has gone away. Off to England to go and see her mum for her 60th birthday. So, I've got both the kids a hurley each. Hi. And we're gonna basically go and have a crack at it. I'm sure that my Irish subscribers will give us some pointers after this video. But we're gonna go have at it and see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mum. Love you so much. Oh, you hit it. I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up hitting the trees. Oh, there we go. The crack goes wild. Hey, that was all season one. I love it. It's cool, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> so I lost the slitter in the long grass, not ideal, and um, interesting fact, Annie's cousin plays Komogi for Cork. So hopefully next time we're there, uh, me and the girls can go and speak to her and get some tips from a professional. Anyway, we've got to get the tractor out now and mow the field because we're having a bit of a gathering, a bit of a camping thing with friends.
So uh, I've done this bit of the field. I'm leaving the rest of the field wild for the rest of the year. Um, just this patch for camping. And uh, but you didn't see was my camera went over again. And this time it snapped the LCD off my camera. So I don't know how much longer this thing's going to last. I'm really not doing a good job of looking after it. Anyway, I'm going to go in now, make the kids some tea, and uh, watch a film. Thank you. 